the dehydrating nature of sulfuric acid. Anytime we add concentrated, highly concentrated sulfuric acid to sugar, any kind of sugar, uh, the sulfuric acid works as a dehydrating agent and it will, it will uh, take out the H and the O, water molecules, from the sugar uh, uh, and it will turn the sugar into uh, carbon uh, according to this uh, reaction, to this equation. So here, as you can see, the H2SO4 removed the H and the O from the C12H22O11 leaving it to 12 carbon. So now I'm going to try this in real. So now here we have uh, sugar and concentrated sulfuric acid. So I'm going to add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the sugar. This might take a while, but we will wait. So first, it will start reacting with the sugar turning it into yellow, then brown, and then to black. But of course, it takes some time. See, the color started to change to brown. I'm going to add from here a little bit. See now it turned black. It's turning black. Now, after a while, it will uh, start growing in the beaker. But it takes uh, some time. See here the formation of the carbon. See the carbon is forming, it's coming out. I'm gonna put it on this uh, mm. tissue paper. See the sugar is turning into carbon and it's rising. I think if I used more amount of sugar it would come up more. So it's taking the shape of a cylinder because the the container is already having this shape. The beaker is a cylindrical shape. See, this is uh, exactly the 
the charcoal you see just take a closer look to it I also smell uh, the uh, caramel smell. This is because the sugar was burning in this uh, sulfuric acid. Okay. 